Well, hello, everyone. I'm going to go live. I don't know that anybody is going to see this or catch on, but I am attempt number two to do this now. Um, I obviously, you can tell I'm on call again today. Uh, and every time that I've tried to do this, I've got pulled away. So I thought that I would uh, attempt to do it uh, while I'm back home again. Um, so uh, just uh, a reminder that uh, we have worship on Sunday at 11 o'clock. We're going to come from Ottawa over for the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I invite you to be a part of that as we're out there uh, at Ottawa. And uh, I will again do my best to be on with you um at one o'clock during the week uh, sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't uh as i uh, am on call a few times so the scripture that i wanted to share with you earlier uh comes from colossians uh, chapter three as god's chosen ones holy and beloved clothe yourself with compassion kindness humility meekness and patience Bear with one another, and if anyone has complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. I think in this time, we need to be ever, ever aware of needing to be patient. And that's, I think, what this tells us is to, to put that on, to put on patience and meekness and humility and kindness. We're uncertain about what's going on around us. And so I think that passage gives us a chance to just kind of sit and listen and reflect on what's going on uh, to just take time uh, and realize that not everything is going to happen at once. We aren't all of a sudden just going to be out and about. We have to be thinking about what's safe for everybody. When we talk about what's going on with the, the coronavirus and, and our country, but more importantly, to have patience when we want to worship together, to have patience when we aren't getting to see our families, or when things in our life don't seem to be going the way we want them to be going. We need to put on all those things, the, the kindness, the compassion, the, the patience, and most of all, we need to love each other. We've talked about that quite a bit. To love as I have loved you, Jesus says. So I, I think to hear those words from Colossians, to know that we are chosen by God, that we are loved by God, and that we are one of his children is some pretty amazing amazing stuff i was i think the patience thing really sets into me because of today in itself i was all ready to go at one i got paged out so that tested my patience a little bit i got ready to come on again a little later got paged out again that got my patience going a little, and so I had to have patience there. And so I, I think it's just a reminder that sometimes we need to just relax and let God lead our lives, let him be a part of who we are. And so I charge you to think about those things. Think about this passage, which we speak of quite a bit over over the course of the year, but as God's chosen ones, you and I, we are chosen by God. We are God's children. He created us. 
We are beloved. And so let us continue to clothe ourselves with compassion, with kindness, with humility, with meekness, with patience. These are all things that if we put in to practice in our daily life, that we will become closer to God. We will become more immense in his word. And it says, above all, clothe yourselves with love. Love one another. That seems to be a going theme as we have come out of Lent, as we were given that commandment by God. And as we go out into this world, especially now, that we love one another. That we find time to read his word and that we find within ourselves a deeper awareness and understanding of God. So take this with you. Know that you are loved, that you're a beloved child of God. Continue to reach out to one another. Continue to pray for each other to pray for our country. And I know this may have seemed kind of rushed, but I wanted to connect with all of you. So that's why I, I wanted it out there. Would you pray with me though? Good and gracious God, we thank you. We thank you for giving us your word, for giving us your son, for forgiving our sins, for making us your beloved children. May we all continue to put on forgiveness, gentleness, and kindness, and give us patience. And above all, give us the ability to love, love those close to us, and to even love our enemies. Father God, we continue to pray for those that are affected by the virus. Heal them if they are sick. For our frontline workers, keep them surrounded in your arms. May we all know of your presence in our lives, and may you continue to bring the Holy Spirit into all of us to create a peace in us that surpasses all understanding. You are the healer of every ill. And so we raise to you those that are suffering mentally and emotionally and spiritually and physically. May you continue to be the great physician for them. And Father God, we bring to you the cares of the church. May you continue to guide its leaders in doing what is right for our congregations. Be with all the pastors and lay ministers and council members as they continue to bring worship in this virtual realm. God, we continue to pray for our leaders in government that you give them strength to lead the best that they can for the safety of everyone. God, we bring all this to you through your risen Son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for being here. I know we weren't live for a lot of you, but some of you are, are on live. Uh, and so I'm glad that you found me quickly. And for the rest of you that are watching this uh, outside of this time, may God continue to bless you. May he continue to wrap his arms around you. You're loved. You're loved by God, you're loved by me, you're loved by everyone. 
So thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. And I will see you tomorrow.